Hello and welcome to this video. Very quickly, I'm going to show you how to use what can be described as isolation mode in Substance Painter. Now, if you've used um, ZBrush as I do, uh, you'll know there is an isolation mode which lets you isolate a particular object within the scene. Well, Substance Painter does a similar thing. You can see down the right hand side here, I've got all my materials for this particular scene, which I'm creating for my uh, students over on Udemy. Um, now, if I want to isolate just one of these, because that's quite a lot of, you know, that's a lot of objects in that particular scene. And if I want to just isolate the bottles, I can click on the bottles and I can click up here in this, on this button here. If I click that, boom, there you go. That's it, simple as that, I've isolated my bottles. Now, there is a caveat to this. A student asked me why his wasn't working. His button was grayed out, and you can see mine there is not. Um, if you don't have, let me select the broomstick, this broomstick back here, for example, I can isolate that. But if I delete the layer, all layers on that particular uh, material, that object, let me just delete that. Now, my button's grayed out and I cannot isolate that object. I can still isolate the other ones, candles, cauldron, but I cannot isolate the broomstick. So it must have a layer uh, on the object for that button to work. And it's a very good button too, because you can have a lot of materials in your scene and um, having that there is is really useful so that's it just wanted to show you that very quickly i hope you enjoyed it and uh, give us a like uh, thumbs up and all that business um, if you want to see more it helps the channel and i'll see you next time bye for now